Now, if you're anything like me, you are absolutely obsessed with finding new untapped products to test in your dropshipping store. Now, there's a lot of people out there that would rather just steal from others or use spy tools and just copy what's already working, but I am obsessed with finding new stuff that nobody's scaled yet. And the way we do this is, well, we come up with lots of creative ways to search AliExpress for new products. And I just wanna share one method with you guys here today that my team has been using recently that's been working really, really well. As you know, if you've done any amount of, of searching on AliExpress, you know that eventually you get stuck in a rabbit hole. You get stuck kind of in just like this one corner of AliExpress where it feels like you're seeing the same stuff every single day and even switching to incognito you still kind of end up in the same patterns and that's because aliexpress's algorithm is real it's really quite smart with the way that it retargets you and tries to show you the same products over and over again in order to get you to check out so as we know aliexpress is a shopping platform it's not a research platform and so it is working against you it's working against our intentions of constantly seeing new stuff so we have to come up with new methods to find new products things that we haven't seen before and this method I'm going to share with you today uh, is very, very effective at catapulting you into new areas of AliExpress that you've never seen before. Now, there is also one other aspect to this strategy that is that makes it pretty overpowered, and, and that is the fact that you are doing uh, market research at the same time as you're doing product research. And I'm gonna explain what that means. So uh, we're gonna start out here on TommyHilfiger.com. It can literally be any brand. I just pulled up some random websites. The more brands you familiar familiarize yourself with, the more effective this research strategy is going to be. So what we wanna do is just go to the new section here on Tommy Hilfiger because we wanna see, well, what they're putting out now and, and what seems to be kind of trending. All right, so let's say we've got these shorts, these seersucker shorts so let's go to this page here I'm gonna go ahead and save one of these images and then we're gonna go to whoseeks.com and we're gonna upload that picture that we just downloaded okay oh, of course it's not working all right so what I just did there because the downloads weren't working is I took a screenshot of the of the image and saved it, saved the screenshot, and then I uploaded that here to whoseeks.com. So now it's showing us a bunch of products that look, well, very similar to the product on tommyhilfiger.com, right? So here we go, we've got some shorts. There we go, we've got some women's shorts that we could test. Um, go back to Tommy Hilfiger now and see what else they got going on. Oh, this like a uh, camp shirt. Let's try that out. I'm just going to do the same thing here with this one. And I'm going to take a screenshot. And then we're going to upload it. All right. So this is kind of neat here. Uh, might as well look at this men's shirt too. Some pajamas popping up. All right. So here we've got a a shirt that could potentially be tested. We've got four colors, we've got a bunch of sizes. It's actually a really good price point. Uh, it's a nice summer shirt. I would test this product. So we've already found a shirt that I probably wouldn't have found any other way except with this method. Now, this should work with virtually any niche. Like, let's try it out here on Williams Sonoma, which is a kitchenware brand. Let's see what they've got in their new section. All right, we've got some plates here. Maybe we'll try the plates, let's see. Just gonna do a screenshot again. And let's see what shows up. All right, we've got some plate sets. If you guys don't know, plates absolutely can crush. This is a, like a China set. That's not something I would run. But there's still some pretty interesting things here. You can't expect it to work perfect every time. The whole purpose here is to just catapult yourself, like I said, into areas of AliExpress that you otherwise probably wouldn't ever see. Like here, we've got some almost like Versace looking coffee mugs here. Um, these are pretty cool. 
I might try to like source this a little bit cheaper and I would sell these. I would actually run, you know, it doesn't look like it's a direct infringement of the brand. I'd maybe do a little bit of research on the logo just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure this pattern is not trademarked. And these look awesome. I would, uh, I'd probably run this. So uh, we've got a home decor website here with Crate and Barrel. Let's see what they've got in their new section. Maybe we can narrow it down by like uh, decor items new decor so we get some vases some shelves let's see I'm just trying to see if something pops out at me here so we have um I don't, I'm just curious I've never checked to see if they have fake bonsai trees on AliExpress so I'm kind of curious to see if they do so we're gonna we're gonna search with this image here this is a faux bonsai tree from Crate and Barrel and let's upload new picture mini bonsai tree, artificial bonsai tree. I mean, if Crate and Barrel's doing it, that's something I would try. Uh, 10 bucks shipped. I mean, come on, here's another one. This one actually looks a little nicer. Again, $10. I would test this artificial bonsai tree. That's pretty cool. Here's another one that looks pretty cool. See, like I would never think to look for this without having been inspired by Crate and Barrel and then doing a reverse image search with Who Seeks onto AliExpress. And boom, we've got like, we just found three products that I would test right away. So hopefully this strategy pays dividends for you guys. I know that it can because you're you're basically letting these brands do the market research. They're, they know what's trending, they know what's in style. And so you're just using that research for your own research and figuring out, you know, if you have any, any products at your disposal on AliExpress that you could sell. This is just a beautiful research technique. I hope you guys implement it. If you do and it works for you, please let me know. Hop in the Discord and share, <laughs> share with the group or comment back on the video here and let me know that this worked for you. That's it. If you got any questions about this, if you need more help with product research, if you want to join our live trainings every single week with me and Alex, jump in the Discord, man. We'd love to have you as part of the family. So hopefully I'll see you guys there.